Hey everyone and welcome back for another save file residence overview and today we are visiting Sulani specifically Ohanali town and Mwapelem. I'm going to try my best to pronounce these names correctly. If I don't, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. But anyway, so let's just get into this. In the first household we are going to meet are the Mamea family. Safina's husband died helping a neighbor extinguish his house after it was hit by a lava bomb. Now, due to her work schedule, she and her sons, Ale Aleki and Josiah, live with her parents, Anna and Apelu. And this is the house. This is the front. And the back looks exactly like the front except for the big porch. This is probably one of my favorite houses. Well, actually, it is my favorite house in Sulani. And this is the first floor. You have the living room, and then you have uh, Safina's room and Anna and Apelu's room in the kitchen. It's a size; it's a decent sized kitchen. Each bedroom has their own bathroom and a closet. And then upstairs, you have the kids' rooms. You have Ale Aleki's room and Josiah's room. So let's meet the family. And this is Anna. She is the mother of Safina. And for her aspiration, she has the beach life aspiration. She just loves living on the beach, living at the beach. She just loves living in paradise. She does not work. For her skills, she is level 1 in charisma and fishing, level 5 in cooking and logic, and level 10 in painting and parenting. For her traits, she is family-oriented, art lover, and loves the outdoors. And she has the home turf aspiration trait. And where she's an elder, she has the fear of death. For likes and dislikes for music, she likes blues and jazz and dislikes electronica. For hobbies and skills, she likes fishing and painting and dislikes baking. For conversation topics, she likes gossip and affection and dislikes small talk. For sim characteristics, she likes idealistic sims and family motivated sims and dislikes rascals. And her favorite colors are blue and green and she dislikes red. And she is not part of any clubs. So we will move on to her husband, Apelu. For his aspiration, he wants to be a best-selling author. For his skills, he is level 1 in charisma, level 5 in cooking and logic, and level 10 in writing and parenting. For his traits, he is family-oriented, a child of the ocean, and a bookworm, and he has the muser aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes for music, he likes Latin music and easy listening music, and dislikes electronica. For hobbies and skills, he likes handiness and writing, and dislikes fishing. For conversation topics, he likes deep thoughts and affection and dislikes malicious interactions. For sim characteristics, he likes cerebral sims and nature enthusiasts and dislikes egotistical sims. His favorite colors are orange and green, and he dislikes yellow, and he is not part of any clubs. Next up is Safina, their only daughter. For her aspiration, she wants a successful lineage. She just wants to raise her sons the best way she can. She works as a caterer in the culinary career, which is level three. For her skills, she is level one in charisma, logic, which she's probably gaining right now, fishing, fitness, and level five in cooking and parenting. For her traits, she is family oriented, a child of the ocean, and a vegetarian. And she has the domestic aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes for music, she likes island music and fo focus music and dislikes DJ Booth. For hobbies and skills, she likes wellness and cooking and dislikes fishing. For conversation topics, she likes jokes and affection and dislikes malicious interactions. For sim characteristics, she likes family motivated sims and nature enthusiasts and she dislikes homebody sims. And her favorite colors are blue and white and she dislikes orange. And she is not part of any clubs. So next up is Safina's oldest son, Aleki, and he wants to be a social butterfly. He's just very social. The whole thing that I did with Sulani was I made it very neighborly and very kind of wholesome, and there's not a lot of drama in Sulani. I don't think there is any at all. I mean, there always can be. You can always make drama, but for the most part, it's just a community of people that really actually help one another. He is a C student in grade school, and he is also a Llama Scout. For his skills, he is level one in charisma, 
For his trait, he is a child of the islands. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes hip-hop and kids' radio and dislikes classical. For hobbies and skills, he likes comedy and dislikes piano. His favorite colors are orange and red, and he dislikes purple. For sim characteristics, he likes nature enthusiasts and dislikes emotional decision makers. For conversation topics, he likes silly behavior and dislikes complaints. And he is part of the Sulani Scouts. And that is all. And finally, the last one of the household, Yosaya. Their last name is Asavale. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that is their name. Um, the Momeas are the grandparents. Anyway, this is Yosaya. And he has no skills. For his trait, he is wild. And that is all. And that is the Mamea family. So we will move on to the next household. Next up is the Cleary household. As a scientist, Alden has been reassigned to the conservationist and marine biology branch. This meant he and the rest of the Cleary family had to relocate to Sulani. They were immediately welcomed with open arms. The Clearys are already feeling like part of the big family that is the community of Solani. And this is the Cleary's house. This is the front. And this is the back. It has a huge deck off into the ocean. And this is the inside. You have the living room, kitchen, open floor plan. And then you have Cassidy's room and Levi's room. And then you have Alden and Alice's room. And they have a bathroom. And, and this is Alden. For his aspiration, he wants to be a nerd brain. He just wants to learn everything he can. And for his career, he is an ocean observer in the marine biologist branch of the conservationist career, which is level 7. For his skills, he is level 4 in fitness, level 5 in cooking, level 6 in parenting, and level 10 or maxed logic. For his traits, he is a genius, outgoing, and loves the outdoors, and he has the quick learner aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes singer-songwriter and Americana, and he dislikes baroque music for hobbies and skills he likes fishing and gardening and dislikes wellness for conversation topics he likes deep thoughts and jokes and dislikes potty humor for sim characteristics he likes cerebral sims and nature enthusiasts and dislikes homebody sims his favorite colors are red and blue and he dislikes brown and he is not part of any clubs so let's meet his wife alice and for her aspiration she wants to be the friend of the world she just wants to meet everyone in her new home and just make a bunch of really good friends she does not have a career for her skills she is level one in fitness level five in charisma gardening cooking and logic and level six in parenting for her traits she is family oriented good and outgoing and she has the gregarious aspiration trait for likes and dislikes for music she likes world music and easy listening music and dislikes metal music for hobbies and skills, she likes wellness and cooking and dislikes fitness. For conversation topics, she likes compliments and pranks and dislikes deception. For sim characteristics, she likes optimistic sims and family motivated sims and she dislikes ambitionless sims. And her favorite colors are green and white and she dislikes orange. And she is not part of any clubs. Next up is Cassidy, their oldest daughter and their only daughter. And she's like her dad. She wants to learn lots of things and... Maybe she'll become a conservationist one day as well. She is a C student in high school, which I will probably change whenever I update this household. She doesn't have any skills, which I, again, will also update once uh, I get to this household. For her traits, she is a genius, a bookworm, and she has the quick learner aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, she likes alternative and singer-songwriter, and she dislikes jazz. For hobbies and skills, she likes programming and writing and dislikes baking. For conversation topics, she likes flirtation and deep thoughts and dislikes pranks. For a sim characteristic, she likes cerebral sims and optimistic sims, and she dislikes egotistical sims. And her favorite colors are red and purple, and she dislikes brown. There is that color combination again, and I don't know why I keep giving it to them. Okay, anyway, she is not part of any clubs. And next up is Levi, and for his aspiration, he wants to be a social butterfly. He's a lot like his mom in that he likes to make new friends and that kind of thing. And they love the fact that they live in Sulani now. He is a C student in grade school. He has no skills. For his traits, he is outgoing. 
For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes video gaming and dislikes dancing. For music, he likes hip-hop and kids' radio and dislikes alternative. His favorite colors are orange and black, and he dislikes pink. For sim characteristics, he likes spirited sims and dislikes rascals. And for conversation topics, he likes jokes and dislikes arguments. And he is not part of any clubs. And this is their, their French Bulldog Oreo. But that is the Cleary family. We will move on to the next household. Next up is the Fisher household. After observing them for decades, Cora became curious about humans, so she chose to live amongst them. She found Sulani and the people there to be quite welcoming and friendly. No one knows what she is, and Cora fears what might happen if they find out. And this is Cora's house. This is the front, and this is the back. This is the inside. You have the uh, living room and the kitchen, and a bathroom, and it's a one bedroom. And this is Cora. And for her aspiration, she wants to be the friend of the world. For her career, she is a snorkel guide in the diver career, which is level one. For her skills, she is level one in charisma and level one in comedy, which it looks like she is gaining right now. For her traits, she is a child of the ocean, cheerful and self-assured, and she has the gregarious aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, she likes S-pop and island music, and she dislikes Baroque music. For hobbies and skills, she likes photography and fitness and dislikes fishing. For conversation topics, she likes compliments and jokes and dislikes potty humor. For sim characteristics, she likes funny sims and optimistic sims and dislikes pessimistic sims. And her favorite colors are green and pink and she dislikes brown. And she is not part of any clubs. But that is Cora, so we will move on to the final household. Finally is the Kemi Aloha household. Haleo and Lakia own the Lagoon Look restaurant in Ohanali Town. They hope to pass it down to their daughter, Oleana, when they're ready to retire. When that is, neither are sure. They love running the restaurant and socializing with all the Solani residents. And this is the Kemi Aloha house. I think that's how you pronounce their last name. I'm really not sure, but that's what I'm going to go with because that's what it sounds looks and sounds like to me. But this is the front. It's a really small house right next to the volcano but and here is the back you have a nice little porch and here is the inside you have the living room dining room and kitchen open floor plan although the kitchen is on a platform originally it wasn't obviously because we didn't have platforms until snowy escape anyway and then you have a bathroom and a bath and a bedroom and this is lakia and for her aspiration she wants a successful lineage like the description said, they really want their daughter, Oleana, which we will meet in the next episode. They really want her to take over the restaurant whenever they retire, but they have no plans to retire anytime soon. For her career, it is a custom self-employed career. Lakia owns the L Lagoon Look restaurant in Sulani. For her skills, she is level one in charisma and fishing. And she has reached level 10 or maxed gourmet cooking, home style cooking, and parenting. For her traits, she is family oriented, outgoing, and a foodie. And she has the domestic aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes for music, she likes retro and island music and dislikes Baroque music. I have to really think about that now that I've discovered that I have been mispronouncing it all of this time. So now I have to really think about it. For hobbies and skills, she likes baking and cooking and dislikes mixology. For conversation topics, she likes compliments and jokes and dislikes gossip. For sim characteristics, she likes family motivated sims and spirited sims and dislikes emotional decision makers. And her favorite colors are blue and pink and she dislikes orange. She is part of the Young at Hearts Club, which I think we've talked about them before. And they also own the Lagoon Look restaurant, which I will give y'all a peek at if I can remember. And next up is Kaleo. For his aspiration, he wants to be an angling ace. He just loves fishing, and that's pretty much how he's always kind of made his money up until they had enough money to own a restaurant. And for his career, it's a custom career as well. They own the Lagoon Look restaurant in Sulani. For his skills, he is level one in charisma and level five in cooking, and he has reached level 10 or maxed fishing and parenting. 
For his traits, he is family-oriented, a child of the islands, and loves the outdoors, and he has the collector aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes easy listening and island music and dislikes Baroque music. For hobbies and skills, he likes fishing and gardening and dislikes snowboarding. For his favorite colors are yellow and blue, and he dislikes purple. For sim characteristics, he likes optimistic sims and nature enthusiasts, and he dislikes homebody sims. And for conversation topics, he likes discussing interests and physical intimacy, and he dislikes potty humor. And he is also part of the Young at Heart house, uh, Club. That is the Kami Aloha household. Actually, before we leave them, I will show you the family tree. This is uh, their daughter, Oleana, and they have a daughter, Leinani. Oleana is married to Keith Hastings, which we will meet these three in the next episode. But anyway, so let's go check out the restaurant. And this is the Lagoon Look restaurant. This is the front. Not a lot going on. And here is the back. You have a dining space. And by now, you probably know that restaurants are my favorite community lot in The Sims 4. Because I use them for date nights. I use them pretty much for everything. Here is the inside of the house. I mean, inside of the restaurant. You have the host station and a couple tables. Not very many. The main attraction is outside. So they can have dinner on the water. Or breakfast. And here is the kitchen. And then the two bathrooms. I will show you the the menu. This is the menu. And this These are the drinks. Mostly just every drink, or just about every drink. And then there's some appetizers, like some a couple salads and some bread, breadsticks and kebabs and stuff. And then the rest is um, seafood. It's a seafood restaurant. And then you have a dessert menu. But that is the Lagoon Look restaurant owned by the Kami Aloha family. And those are the households of Ohanali Town and Wa Pelem. Next week, we will be meeting the households in Lonnie St. Tats. I guess that is all from me for now. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.